told y'all I feel that pre-show anointing, okay? Yo, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Elder, and you already know, if this is your first time tuning in, I welcome you with love, hugs, and kisses. Mwah! Hey, baby, but in order for you to be my cousin, right, right, I need you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button, right, right, then I need you to go ahead and hit that bell, right, right, then I need you to like up the comment section with hashtag Doc Cousin Gang, and you'll officially be my cousin. And those of you that's been rocking with your girl, what's up, Fummy? What's up, Cuzzo? You already know, baby, my Fummy. We be like, welcome back. Back, hey, back, back, hey. So, this is something we have not done in a while, you guys. But this is cook and chat with me. Okay, y'all, it's been a minute. When I say it's been a minute, it's been a minute. But, um, I was like, let me stop being lazy. And let me get up and cook, okay? Um, so that I don't have to worry about it tomorrow. Um, today is Sunday, baby. <laughs> it is Sunday. But we gonna go. All right, y'all. So we're gonna go ahead and cook, like I said, because I don't want to have to worry about it later. Um, making ribs. Uh, yeah, I need to do something with my hair. Making barbecue ribs, yellow rice, and some Haitian macaroni and cheese. Um, so it is. It's late, y'all. It's like 8.47 on a Sunday night. It's 8.47 on a Sunday night. Hey, okay, now. Nah. Um, so, y'all know how we get down, baby. A conversation that came up, and I know I like to elaborate on it. Um, been getting a lot of people, friends, some family coming to me, and we've been talking about relationships. <laughs> Okay, it ain't for the week. But, um, I'm gonna say this though when it comes to your relationship, stop putting people in your business. Okay, it's okay for you to vent, it's okay for you to go get advice, but it's who you get advice from, it's who you vent to. Okay, we are gonna start off right there because I feel, I feel that I feel, I feel that in, in in like in the vein, like I feel the flow of that. Okay, because a lot of people are not are not um, are not truly happy for you, or they're low key in competition with you, um, and you have to discern where people mindset is and how they feel concerning you okay now like i said it's all depending on who you confide in who you go vent to who you go um get advice from because at the end of the day you do not want to be speaking to this person and their team you they don't know how to be biased they don't know how to you know strip away from their emotions and when their team you it's going to be difficult sometimes it's going to be difficult for them to give you sound advice, okay? Sound advice without, you know, hurting the other. Another reason why you definitely have to be careful is because you do not want to be venting on what is the problem in the relationship, completely neglecting, you know, the good things that y'all have experienced, um, but you don't want all the, the bad things to cause that person's perception to change concerning your significant other. Now, that's I just said a whole mouthful right there. This is why some people, like for me, like if I'm going through in my relationship, sometimes it's hard. You know what I'm saying? Because I know who to go to. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, listen, I don't need nobody's perception changing concerning um, my significant other. Okay? And I speak to somebody, if I tell them the situation, they're not only going to um, help me look at it from a different perspective, but they also going to check me and tell me where I'm wrong. Now, see, somebody said that's maturity. That's maturity. Okay? So you have to be careful 
who you vent to. You have to be careful, you know, who you tell these things to. Why? You have to protect your relationship, okay? So the first one is um, be mindful, be careful on who you vent slash confide into, okay? Now, my point on number, uh, in reference to relationship is protect your relationship. Protect your relationship mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially, and physically. Protect, protect, protect your relationship. Oh, I feel my preacher voice coming on. I see this a lot, guys, where we neglect Let me put my timer on real quick. Hold on, y'all. I see this a lot where we neglect to protect our relationship, especially when it comes to our significant others. We don't we don't protect our relationship from friends. We don't protect our relationship from family members. What am I saying? Now y'all know me. I love Jesus. All right, y'all know I'm a Jesus lover. You feel me? However, we know that the word of God states that life and death is in the tongue. And let me tell you something. A lot of people have allowed people's opinion, have allowed people's um, negative speaking to become their reality. So sometimes you may be going through, it's not necessarily because of, well, we could say because of you, it's because of what you have allowed this person or whoever to speak into your life or to um, speak into your significant other or to speak into your relationship. Um, and it wasn't coming from a place of love. And sometimes what they're speaking um, is also what they're speaking in private. I just said a mouthful. So when I say protect your relationship spiritually, listen, we wrestle a lot against flesh and blood, but against principalities. And you know what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, you have to protect your relationship. So you have to get to a place where you do not allow people or whomever, family, friends, or whomever to speak ill of your um, significant other. Now, it's okay to give constructive criticism when it's coming from a place of love. But when you keep allowing that person to speak, 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 and then you try to figure out, you, you, then you letting that seed, you, you let them plant the seed, then you entertain it, and then all this stuff happens. So then um, when it comes to financially protecting your relationship, excuse me, you know, financially protecting your relationship, emotionally protecting your relationship. Stop taking advantage of each other in your vulnerable state. Uh, and if you don't know how to be there for your significant other, listen, open up your mouth and say, baby, I, show me what to do in this time. Or how do I do this? Like we seriously need to come to a heart to heart, heart to heart. But we be so focused on the negative. We be so like, I don't even think y'all hear me. We be so focused <clears throat> on the negative, we forget to create the vibe, all right? We forget to create the vibe, y'all. I don't think y'all hear me. We forget how to create the vibe. If a situation happened in your relationship, if you're going to forgive, forgive, but don't I need new knives, y'all. But don't um, sit here and forgive. But then you 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 later you later bringing it up. Be real with yourself so that you can be real with your spouse, bro. Like be real with yourself so that you can be real with your spouse. If the situation is hurting you, man, babe, look, this hurt me, and you know what I'm saying. And if that person is willing, is willing. To put in the work to fix it, yo, give that person credit, whether it be male or female, because we I'm not, I'm not, y'all know me, I'm not gonna sit here and say and act like us women is so perfect. No, we not, because sometimes we be the cause um of all the havoc that we're re that we're going through in our relationship. If you gonna love, love. I think I lost about 
three subscribers off of that right there. If y'all gonna work it out, work it out. Yes, we could talk about what we was going through. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we could talk about what happened, but we're not gonna dwell there. All right, this is still part of protecting your relationship, okay? And y'all gotta have that communication where you guys are able to talk to one another because you don't wanna be too much in your thoughts. Like, you do not wanna be too much in your thoughts, okay? Because our emotions and what we go through, we have the nerve to be creating all these damn scenarios in our heads and then we have the nerve to sit there and believe it. Oh, I don't think y'all hear me today. And funny thing is, I was not going to record today. I was just gonna cook and mind my business. I was gonna cook and mind my business. I was gonna cook and mind my business. I don't think y'all hear me, man. So I'm gonna make the Haitian macaroni first, y'all. My macaroni is boiling. I'm making the ground beef for the macaroni. My cheese, butter, and all the other ingredients I have is over here. The ribs is marinating. Um, the water for the um, for me to finish clean the ribs um, is. Um, Hold on, give me a second. The the water is boiling for me to finish clean the ribs and so I can season them. And then I have a whole pizza underneath the oven for y'all know y'all know Lala. Y'all see y'all girl. You gonna come say hi to YouTube? Hi. Hi. I guess mommy's giving me some food. Mommy's giving me some Y'all got to be able to have these um, conversations, okay? Because, baby, this is what's going to help the relationship grow. Y'all got to be willing to have these uncomfortable conversations, man. Let nothing be hit. Be transparent. Be vulnerable. And but the see, but the. But the world that we live in today is so hard because it's like you at a point where you don't know who to trust, okay? You don't know who to trust. You don't know who to open up to. We got our walls up. It's okay, baby. It's okay. It's part of life. We're going to get hurt. It's part of life. But it's what you learn from that hurt. We don't have no moments, baby. Make Haitian macaroni a lot because sometimes I cook it for hubby. Sometimes it's for friends and family or somebody having a potluck. And they ask me to cook, so. that No, that's not the only thing I know how to cook, but I cook by what's the request. Uh, hubby. So uh, let's go ahead and get to um so point two is protect your relationship, okay? Protect your relationship. Point three is and I had to get close with this one. Point three is communication and the understanding. Not just communication. Because you can communicate and don't understand jet lick of nothing. Okay? But communication and understanding. Let us normalize where we can communicate to understand so that we can come to a solution versus communicating just to respond and, and be petty. Ouch.
Can we do that, y'all? Find what helps you guys communicate. Okay? Help will find you guys communicate. But what I'm going to tell you is if you know you are upset, allow yourself the time to process. We do not do that. Learn how to control your emotions so that you can communicate effectively. Okay? Learn how to control your emotions so that you can communicate effectively. Control your emotions so that you're able to process clearly and not be so cloudy. Because what I was saying in my last vlog, if you haven't watched it yet, is because we be so in our emotions, so in our feelings, so irate or whatever it is that you're feeling, it causes us to make a permanent decision on a temporary situation. Oh, y'all don't hear me. It causes you to make a permanent decision on a temporary situation. Listen, whether it be this relationship, whether it be the past relationship, or whether it be the future relationship, listen, and this is also for friendship. This is not just, you know, um, between, you know, significant others. But as I was saying, um, it don't matter. Every relationship has its season of going through. This is what's going to build you guys. You have to experience experience each other in all circumstances, whether it's through grieving, whether it's through pain, whether it's through hurt, whether it's through abandonment, whether it's through neglect, you have to experience all of this because how are you going to know this person is going to stand with you? That's when people's true character is exposed is when you are going through those hard times is when you know that person's heart for you. And I know I said a mouthful. I told, I told y'all, I feel that preacher anointing. Okay. Look at this. Y'all y'all done got me forgot about my baby pizza. Lala? Here, baby. You can take it in the room. You can take it in the room. It's hot. Okay. It's hot. Okay, let it cool down. Okay. Come get a juice out of the refrigerator. Okay. Or your or you whatever you want. All right. So a temporary. There we go. Because we be in our feelings, um, a temporary, um, permanent decision on a temporary um, situation, okay? But we need to learn a healthy way for us to communicate. Listen, responding when you upset or in that current moment, you gotta learn how to step away for a second, process, then come back and talk. Then we would, we would be able to um, Come quick, uh, come to a solution quicker, okay? So that we can go ahead and move forward in power. Um, whether it's in your friendship or your relationship, because it is important and you have to understand, you have to understand the enemy knows the power when two people are in agreement. He knows the power of what happens when two people are, uh, are on one accord. He knows what happens and he's going to do any and everything to come up and then he will attack your communication. And once he attacks your communication, then individually he's going to plant seeds and thoughts and stuff like that. And like I said, sometimes you be so in your feelings, you have the nerve to sit there and believe whatever scenario you don't create it in your head. 
all right you gotta look at what you have you gotta you gotta you gotta evaluate that thing you have to evaluate that thing okay you have to get to a place where you ask like why are we going through so much okay and it could be two reasons but you have to discern you have to discern you have to discern you have to discern i can't stress this enough you have to discern okay either y'all going through because it's meant to be all right and the enemy is going to um push or it can be god allowing everything to happen to build y'all to strengthen y'all okay or it could be that ain't it but like i said you have to discern and this is why we cannot be scared to um <clears throat> be scared to talk to god concerning the person that we with listen i had a real conversation with god all right and we still talking about communication and understanding all right i had a real transparent moment with god man where i told god I'm like, God, I trust you, but when it comes to my love life, I, I'm, I'm very hesitant, God. Like, I'm very hesitant because I'm like, man, you had Hosea marry a whole ho And I know that ain't my story, but, you know, so I had to be real with God. Like, I'm like, God, I want to be able to trust you concerning my love life, okay? And a lot of times we don't because we don't want to hear that season Oh, we got to go through that season of singleness because we don't know how long it's going to be. Okay? We just want to get married. Pop, pop, pop. We just want to get married. Okay, and be great. But then, you know, we waiting on God like, hello. We waiting on God like, hello. So it, it, it can get difficult. You know what I'm saying? Like it can get difficult. But you got to find that communication that's going to be effective for the both of both parties and how to communicate. Okay. Um, and, and have that understanding um, because we got to understand there's your perspective his or her perspective um if you're talking about friendship <clears throat> there's going to be different perspective and if you don't understand you got to act you have to be able you have to be mature enough to ask your significant other to help you to understand it from their perspective so that you're able to go ahead and do what you need to do because remember the goal is to be able to move forward e um move forward in power okay Oh, yeah, let me show y'all this. Hold on. Ooh, y'all see that, baby? Y'all see that? Woo! Yes, honey. Y'all see that? All right. <clears throat> All right, y'all with me? Y'all with me? Okay. But yeah, we got to be able to ask our significant other or be able to communicate with our significant other in reference to um, being able to understand from their perspective. Okay? All right, y'all. So communicate to under... Communication and understanding. You need both. Okay? Find what's healthy for y'all. Find what's healthy for y'all. Find what's healthy for y'all and be great, okay? Another reason, you got to be real with yourself is because sometimes we know we're not done with the person, man. We love the person that much, bro, like, and we know we're not done with them. We know we're not done with them. So, that's why it's another reason why we have to be careful. You know you're not done with that person. You know you still want to be with them. It's okay. All right? It's okay, baby. It's all right. Let me wash my hands. Okay? 
It's all right, sweetheart. It's all right. Just be real. And it brings me to my final point. Understanding each other's love language. I feel like we have a misconception when we have to that, when it comes to that. Listen, if my love language is gifts, that means you give me gifts, okay? Because that is my love language, all right? But of course, because how I treat myself is how I'm gonna treat you, I'm gonna be giving you gifts as well. Because why? That is my love language. It's just not one way, all right? Um, mine, I, I, I do flow in all the, the love languages. I really do. Um, but they're ranked, all right? And then your spouse's love language is what you can do to show them that you love them. Why? Because this is their love language. So if this person likes quality time, um, then you need to do what you need to do to provide that person quality time. Okay? Because that's what that that's their love language. Like it is. Yeah. So when it comes to the love language, understand your spouse's love language and don't be afraid to, to, to show your love, express your love, okay? Because a lot of us, yes, we have been through a lot when it's come when it comes um, to relationships, um, friendships, and all that good stuff. But listen, if you want it, you, you got to make yourself open to receive. We can't have our guards up, you know what I'm saying? Because then how do we expect to um, be able to let that person in? Um, yes, like I said, we have we, we definitely have been through a lot, guys. Um, but open up to, so that you're able to receive what it is that you are desiring. I'm going to let this marinate for a minute and I'm about to bust this yellow rice. Bali cut color pizza. Listen. When I say I feel the spirit of love, that's when y'all tell me to cook. Secret. If you follow me on social media, and I say I feel love so strongly, that's when y'all need to ask the sister to cook. Okay? Big up, baby. Don't be afraid to deliver. I can't say that. I could worship though. Um, yeah, don't be afraid to be able to give your significant other what they need mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically. <laughs> but um, if you're married, remember if you're married, y'all know I, pr I promote. I gotta do a story time on that. Um, but you know, don't be afraid to give your significant other what they need, especially if you're married. You know, don't withhold, ladies. Stop withholding if you're married. Stop withholding the poom poom from your husband because you and your feelings. We'll go with this for camping. <laughs> Go sit down. Relationships are not easy. It do require work, okay? It do require work. However, you have to be willing to put in that work, all right? You have to be willing to put in that work. All right, get your priorities together. Get your priorities in order. Be real with yourself so you can be real with your spouse. Be real with yourself so you can be real with your spouse. All right, y'all, now it's time to make the rice, okay? 
Got my vegetables right here. Making the rot the um I was like, let me season it now. All right, y'all. So, like I said, making the yellow rice right now. Yeah, see that? Ooh, look at these mixed vegetables. So, definitely got to get the season all up in the vegetables there. You know what I'm saying? And I don't mind putting extra seasoning because y'all know by the time we add that water. By that time we had that water, y'all, I don't want it to, um, have no taste. All right, y'all, sorry, I'm back. I had to get my daughter situated for bed real quick because, whew, one is past a bedtime. It is 9.49. I normally should be asleep by now because I really shut my house down at eight so that she could be asleep. Right now I'm just washing the rice. That water is boiling. The ribs are still marinating a little bit. Now I'm gonna let them saute, whatever y'all call it, and then put some barbecue on it and get it under the oven. <clears throat> Let me finish the ribs, y'all, and then we're going to go to the couch and finish this conversation. We're going to do a recap, okay?